Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE General Edition General Test, tenth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately so that you're able to follow my work and it is the best source that you can have to get ready for the exam, to, to prepare for the exam. Don't waste your time and money practicing on the fake exams that are out on the market. Buy the real thing. It has This book has seven real exams. This is what you need. The problem that I'm about to do is the one that you're going to find on page number 135. Quantitative comparison question these are. Number three. Let's take a look at it. Here is X and here is Y. And we are asked to compare X and Y, see which one is bigger. Column A and column B. X and Y. Let me put X and Y in different color. You may ask why, to which the answer is, is because I have the flair for the dramatics. So here we go, X and Y. This is what we have to deal with. We have two parallel lines, even though that doesn't quite look like parallel, but it is parallel. Voilà. Now, if you if you know anything from your days in school years, the geometry that you learned there as to what happens when two parallel lines are intersected by the third line, uh, you probably learn about uh, the opposite angles and obtuse angles and uh, acute angles and uh, all sorts of terminologies that, that is there where, that I don't care for, I don't memorize them, nobody's going to test you on the exam, you just have to understand the concept, you don't have to worry about the terminology, nobody's going to, nobody's going to ask you to name things. So here's what you need to understand. When two parallel lines are intersected by a third line, Three things are going to happen. Here we go. When two parallel lines are intersected, are intersected by a third line, three things happen. Number one, we get two kinds of angles. We get two kinds of angles. Small ones and large ones. As you can see, this is a small angle. This is a large angle, a small angle, a large angle, a large angle, a small angle. You see, you can you can you can readily see, you can readily see which one is a small angle, which one is a large angle. Forget about the terminology. Number two, the sum of any small angle, any small angles. For example, let's call this angle one, and any large angle. Let's say let's call this this angle two. The sum of this angle and that angle equals 180. Number three, if two angles look equal to you. If they look equal, they are in fact equal. And that's all you need to know. So in this particular question, let me erase all this extra part because now I made it too crowded. In this particular question, they want you to compare X and Y. What do they look like to you? To me, angle X looks like a small angle. And to me, Angle Y also looks like a small angle because the large angle is this one. This is a large angle. This is a large angle. That's a large angle. That's a small angle. This is a small angle. This is a small angle. If two angles look equal, they are equal. The answer is C. That's it. That's all. We're done. That's it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually get out of the frame and I'm going to actually let the camera stare at it for about 10-15 seconds in case you want to pause it and so forth if you want to write it down and then after that I'm going to come back in the frame and we'll do problem number 4, okay? I'm just going to get out for about 10 minutes, uh, 10 seconds, 10-15 seconds.
There we go. Let's look at let's look at problem number four now. I'm gonna erase this thing. I'm gonna do problem right and problem number four right underneath here because I don't want to erase any of this. Problem four is also pretty straightforward. Problem number four, QC number four. In the first column we have negative two times negative three times negative four versus zero times four times eight. Well, let's see what we can do. These questions are called quantitative comparison. They are not called They are not called quantitative computation. A simple fact, a minor detail that a lot of people, I'm being sarcastic when I say minor detail, it's not a major detail. It is the point of the whole, whole 15 questions. The whole point of this 15 question is, are you able to compare the two quantities? They're not asking you to, they're not asking you to compute the quantities. Anybody can compute, anybody can compare the two quantities after they have been computed. Which one is bigger, 384 or 383? What's the bloody point? And anybody can see which one is bigger. The point is, can you compare them without having all, without having to do all the work? What I'm about to say here is not earth shattering. This is very simple. But here you go. See, these are called quantitative comparison. They are not called computation. So what is this going on here? Negative times negative is positive. See, negative numbers times negative number is going to be positive, and then you multiply it by another negative. This whole thing is a negative number. This whole quantity, because we have three negative is a negative number. What that negative number is, I'm not interested. Unless, unless this also turns out to be negative, then I'm going to worry about which one is bigger. Here we have 0 times 4 times 8. How much is 0 times 4 times 8? Wait, 0 times any number is 0. It's 0. It's a big fat 0. So which one is bigger, a negative number or a 0? Of course 0 is bigger. The answer is B. That's all. Because, because, Zero times any number is a zero and not just zero, a big fat one. So that's it. So in column B, we have a zero. This is your column B. And here in column A, we have a negative quantity. I don't know what that is. I don't care about what that is, but it's a negative quantity. A negative number is going to be less than a zero. That's it. The answer is B. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face tutoring, or if you wish to buy the solution manuals to this problem, in either case, if you wish to communicate with me, go to my website at www.prepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepp